वेलकम टू देसी इंग्लिश गुरु एंड दिस इज योर होस्ट राजीव सो लेट अस प्रैक्टिस ऑफ लिसनिंग इंग्लिश आवर टूडे स्टोरी इज द प्रिंस एंड द फकीर इफ यू आर न्यू टू द चैनल देन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब देयर वाज वंस अपॉन ए टाइम ए किंग हु हैड नो चिल्ड्रन नाउ दिस किंग वेंट एंड लेड हिम डाउन टू रेस्ट एट ए प्लेस वेयर फोर रोड्स मेट सो दैट एवरीवन who passed had to step over him at last a fakir came along and he said to the king man why are you lying here he replied fakir a thousand men have come and passed by you pass on too but the fakir said who are you man the king replied i am a king fakir of goods and gold i have no lack what i have lived long and have no children so i have come here and have laid me down at the cross roads my sins and offenses have been many very many so i have come and am lying here that men may pass over me and perchance my sins may be forgiven me and god may be merciful and i i may have a son the fakir answered him o oh king if you have children but will you give me whatever you ask fakir answered the king the fakir said of goods and gold i have no lack but i will say a prayer for you and you will have two sons one of those sons will be mine then he took out two sweet maids and handed them to the king and said king take these two sweet maids and give them to your wives give them to the wives you love best the king took the sweet maids and put them in his bosom then the fakir said king in a year i will return and of the two sons who will be born to you one is mine and one yours the king said well i agree then the fakir went on his way and the king came home and gave one sweet meat to each of his two wives after some time two sons were born to the king then what did the king do but place those two sons in an underground room which he had built in the earth some time passed and the one day the fakir appeared and said king bring me that son of yours but did the king do but bring two slave girls sons and present them to the fakir while the fakir was sitting there the king's sons were sitting down below in their cellar eating their food just then a hungry ant had carried away a grain of rice from their food and was going along with it to her children another stronger ant came up and attacked her in order to get this grain of rice the first ant said o oh ant why do you drag this away from me i have long been came in my feet and i have got just one grain and i am carrying it to my children the king's sons are sitting in the cellar eating their food you go and fetch a grain from there why should you take mine from me and this the sec- second ant let go and did not rob the first but went off to where the king's sons were eating their food on hearing this the fakir said king these are not your sons go and bring those children who are eating their food in the cellar then the king went and brought his own sons the fakir chose the eldest son and took him away 
and set off with him on his journey when he got home he told the king's son to go out to gather fuel so the king's son went out to gather cow dung and when he had collected some he brought it in then the fakir looked at the king's son and put on a great pot and said come round here my pupil but the king's son said master first and pupil after the fakir told him to come once he told him twice he told him three times and each time the king's son answered master first and pupil after then the fakir made a dash at the king's son thinking to catch him and throw him into the cauldron there were about a hundred gallons of oil in this cauldron and the fire was burning beneath it then the king's son lifting the fakir gave him a jerk and threw him into the cauldron and he was burned and we came a roast meat he then saw a key of the fakir's lying there he took this key and opened the door of the fakir's house now many men were locked up in this house two horses were standing there in a hut of the fakir's two grey hounds were tied up there two simurgs were imprisoned and two tigers also stood there so the king's son let all the creatures go and took them out of the house and they all returned thanks to god next he who were in prison he took away with him the two horses and he took away the two tigers and he took away the two horns and he took away the two simurgs and with them he set out all the men for another country as he went along the road he saw above him a bad man grazing a herd of slaves and this bad man called out to him fellow can you fight at all the king's son replied when i was little i could fight a bit and now if anyone wants to fight i am not so unmanly as to turn my back come i will fight you the bad man said if i throw you you shall be my slave and if you throw me i will be your slave so they got ready and began to fight and the king's son threw him on this the king's son said i will leave my beasts here my smugs tigers and dogs and horses they will all stay here while i go to the city to see the sights i appoint the tiger as guard over my property and you are my slave you too must stay here with my belongings so the king's son started off to the city to see the sights and arrived at a pool he saw that it was a pleasant pool and thought he would stop and bathe there and there with he began to strip off his clothes now the king's daughter who was sitting on the roof of the palace saw his royal marks and he said this man is a king when i marry i will marry him and no other so she said to her father my father i wish to marry good said her father then the king made a proclamation let all men great and small attend today in the hall of audience for the king's daughter bill to they take a husband all the men of the land assembled and the travelers prince also came dressed in the fakir's clothes saying to himself i must see this ceremony today 
he bent in and sat down the king's daughter came out and sat in the balcony and cast her glance around all the assembly she noticed that the traveler prince was sitting in the assembly in fakir's attire the princess said to her hand maiden take this dish of hina go to that traveler dressed like a fakir and sprinkle scent on him from the dish the hand maiden obeyed the princess order went to him and sprinkled the scent over him then the people said the slave girl has made a mistake but she replied the slave girl has made no mistake this her mistress has made the mistake on this the king married his daughter to the fakir who was really no fakir what a prince but fate had decreed came to pass in that country and they were married but the king of that city became very sad in her in his heart because when so many chiefs and nobles were sitting there his daughter had chosen none of them but he had chosen that fakir but he kept these thoughts concealed on his heart one day the traveler prince said let all the kings sons in law came out with me today to hunt people said but is this fakir that he should go a hunting however they all set out for the hunt and fixed their meeting place at a certain pool the newly married prince bent to his tiger and told his tigers and hounds to kill and bring in a great number of gazelles and hog deer and markhor instantly they killed and brought it brought in a great number then taking with him these spoils of the chase the prince came to the pool settled on as a meeting place the other princes sons in law of the king of that city also assembled there but they had brought in no game and the new prince had brought a great deal hence they returned home to the town and went to the king their father in law to present their game now that king had no son then he new prince told him that in fact he too was a prince at this the king his father in law was greatly delighted and took him by the hand and embraced him he seated him by himself saying o prince i return thanks that you have come here and become my son in law i am very happy at this and i make over my kingdom to you so this was our beautiful story if you like then please subscribe the channel